Virtual Vikings game plan continues. This is one of the preseason shows where we're taking a peek at the NFC North. And um, we've gone deep diving on the Chicago Bears. So let's continue with Cy Amundsen and Ron Johnson, specifically Cy here. Packers favored to win the NFC North. They housed 13 wins last year. Vikings got 10. Chicago had eight. Can the Bears win the NFC North? Technically, sure. I mean, the Lions, I suppose, could win the NFC North. I, you know, I think the interesting thing is that they went out, they added Robert Quinn in the offseason. So they added a strength to a giant strength. And I know we talked about their offense, but I'm not as on board as Ron is with the moves. So it's kind of like you have a 14,000 square foot kitchen and no bathroom in your house. And you go, what if we bought two more refrigerators? I just, I don't get it. So I suppose they could win, but... Uh, I'm not there yet. I mean, yeah, they can win because it's it's really, uh, again, I'm taking the Lions out of it. It's a three-team race. You got the Vikings, the Packers, and the Bears. So, yes, they can win it. The defense just has to do what they did, and Nick Foles just has to do a little bit more than what Mitchell Trubisky did was actually complete some passes to the wide-open people, and they can win it. When it comes to Nagy, Ron, the way he orchestrates his offense to complement his defense and keep those those good players off the field – do you think he does a good job with that? I think in 2018, yes. In 2019, no. And I don't know. And I'm looking at third downs. Third downs, Mitch Trubisky was a pedestrian. I mean, it, I think anybody could have went out there and had better third down ratios than Trubisky. He wasn't bad, but he wasn't good. And so when you're looking at that, the goal is on third down to stay on the field, as you're saying, keep Khalil rested, let these guys wait a minute. He had a lot of three and outs, and it, it wasn't so much the play calling. It was just noticing the right open guy. Trubisky took a lot of easy dump off on third and eight, and he would throw it one yard. Like, you, you're better off just trying to – you're going to punt anyway, so throw it to the guy, give him a chance, put it maybe where he only can get it, and then if the DB's close, Trubisky didn't have that. So that's going to come back on Nagy. No, he didn't do a good job of that, but I think that also leans on his status. Quarterback's coach is a big piece of that. That's why Stefanski was so important. When you have a quarterback's coach that can get the best out of his quarterback, you're going to see those results. Let's uh, finish virtual Vikings game plan by bringing it on home. Uh, receivers for the Vikings, Adam Thielen, Justin Jefferson, proven good, going to be really good. After that, Ron, what do you think? I think they keep six receivers. What jumps out of you? Well, right away, I mean, BC Johnson had a good year last year. I think he's good to go. Uh, Tajay Sharp from the Titans. I watched some Titans film. The kid's really good in the red zone. From there, I mean, everybody loves BB. But now you have a guy, and I heard Mike Zimmer soundbite talking about Justin Jefferson in the slot on KFan Radio. He said the kid can play everywhere. So now Justin Jefferson kind of becomes your default slot because he's really good there. And so if Thielen wants to stay outside, who is now your fifth and sixth guy? And, and that's where we're going to have to watch some of this training camp special team stuff and take a look at some receivers that maybe can play gunner. Um, some receivers that are willing to go down on kickoff, that kind of stuff. I think that's your five and six receiver. But yeah, it, those five and six are going to be special teams, guys, for sure. They're going to have to be able to do it. Yeah, Cy, you know, the rookie from Miami by way of uh, Buffalo, K.J. Osborne, they drafted him mm -hmm. and he can return punts. So I got to put him in. How would you finish that thing out? I'm absolutely on the same page. I want to see K.J. Osborne on this roster. I think to me, this entire conversation more speaks to the depth that the Vikings could possibly have this year. I mean, look at all the discussion around the third wide receiver spot. Everybody's talking about who's going to get that spot. To me, I want to point out that for the first time in a long time, we have three guys on this roster in Tajay Sharp, BB, and Ola B.C. Johnson, who could all be legitimate number three receivers in this league. This whole conversation goes to speak towards the depth that we're going to have at this position this year, despite the fact that we lost Stefan Diggs in the offseason. Gentlemen, next week we weave our way through the Motor City Kitties and put a wrap on the NFC North, and uh, then we start walking up to regular season 2020. Ron Johnson, Cy Amundsen, I'm Paul Allen. That is Virtual Vikings Game Plan, courtesy of the Vikings Entertainment Network.